Sunday morning service is over. Let your weekly service begin. Hey you guys, welcome back. On Live It Out, what I want to encourage you to do is to live out your faith. Not just live out what I might teach or what somebody else might teach, but what God has taught. So we talked about blessed are the peacemakers for their sons and daughters, children of God. What in the world does peace even mean? Is peace the absence of chaos, the absence of trial and tribulation and all that? One day it will be the great shalom in heaven, there'll be none of that. But while we're here, we have to be able to have peace and help people have peace, even when there's chaos around you. So it reminds me of Psalm 23. I wanna encourage you to go read those six verses, maybe even learn to start memorizing it. Some of you already have. It's always a wonderful one that people know about. But here's the one I wanted to ask you, and I haven't got it entirely memorized, but it's Psalm 23, five. Go and read this, memorize it, live it out. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. So how do you live that out? Would you take time to write down, ask God, first of all, to help you understand, when has he given you peace? When has he slowed you down? When has he set a table for you in the presence of your enemies? In the midst of the battle, when has he allowed you to have a peace, like it says, in Philippians 4, that passes understanding. And so write that down, journal that out, ask him to help you understand when he's giving you peace, even when it's been crazy. And then share that with somebody. Share that story with somebody. Ask them to share their story with you when God has given them peace, even when they shouldn't have it, like a peace that passes understanding, a peace in the presence of their enemies, being able to slow down, having their head anointed, their cups overflowing, And oh yeah, I'm in the middle of a battle. And so that's basically it. Happy Thanksgiving. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Be strong and courageous and let it be contagious. 